day, team. I've got the sun setting to the west. I've got the moon rising on the east. I see ships passing by and a lot of offshore uh, oil and gas production going on. We're sitting at Stetson's Bank uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. We're about 60 miles offshore right now on our 16th year of our Down Under, Out Yonder, Flower Garden Banks teacher expedition. We've got 20 teachers from all over the country on board. They're getting ready for their next night dive here on Stetson's Bank. Uh, they will take the word and what they're learning back to the classroom, and that's what this is all about. Getting classroom tools that I can take home right away. Uh, one of the instructors in the classroom gave us an entire day of fun activities that were in a box. It was just already set up for us and we could, now I've got something that I can take home because lots of times you'll go to professional developments and they'll have all these great ideas but they may be really expensive to do. This, I mean, we used a rubber glove and we made um, a coral polyps. Like, my kids would be really interested in that and I think that that would be an amazing, uh, that's, that's a great way to come home from a professional development with a lot of uh, information. Well, I've always known um, how important the oceans are. Um, I think my goal to get out of this is finding ways that I can bring it back to my students to actually have them understand that. Because I grew up, um, I have a degree in marine science, so I love the ocean, I love the water, and I do have that passion of wanting to protect it and how important it is for us, but I've learned trying to portray that or convey that to my students. Sometimes they're like, oh, whatever, and some, some students are all about it, but to find new ways to help them understand the importance of it is one of my big goals out of this trip. I would have to say the actual most exciting part of this is meeting the other teachers and meeting the staff. Uh, uh, it's, it's amazing what uh, experiences everyone else brings to the table and getting to understand everything and all the learning that we've had and then going, being able to use that, go down and dive with that kind of knowledge and see the things that we've been talking about. That's probably the best part. Mostly I wanted another experience for my kids. Uh, one thing that I do in my classroom is I do videos and I um, make TV productions for my kids. So give them a new aspect of a different area because we're in the Atlantic and bring them the Gulf of Mexico home. The most exciting time for me is to see the enthusiasm that the teachers bring and the uh, new fuel that's added to their fire that they really look forward to bringing back to their students. Camaraderie planning, execution, experience, uh, projection towards the future. When Kyle announced the number of species that have been um, reported by us, and we are not experts, this is the good part, we are not experts, but we are learning with so much interest that really, you know, creates this push forward. Super, love it. I'd re definitely recommend this to anyone that comes out here. Uh, recommend it to divers and the bubble watchers alike because uh, besides using the stuff that we're learning uh, while we're down diving, uh, the information that we're learning as a group and from the instructors is incredible. This Dewey program is exceptional, outstanding. I, I can't say enough good words about this, this whole program. Coming into this program, I only had about six uh, dives total. I'm probably the noob of the group and uh, they all have made me feel very safe, confident, um, and uh, I've nearly doubled, I've actually doubled all the dives I've, I've done before I even came here. So uh, if you're afraid of doing something like this, uh, you can rest assured that the crew, the dive masters, and everyone associated with this program will keep you safe and uh, you feel confident. The Dewey Cruise is an opportunity of a lifetime. Uh, if you can't come once, try apply again for the next year or the next year tell your friends spread the word it's an amazing opportunity not only to get first-hand experience with an, an environment that you might not uh, have access to but also to uh, network with other teachers across the United States uh, share your teaching experiences and learning opportunities and also working with professional scientists who are, who are currently doing research. My dive buddy is actually a reading teacher and so hearing how she incorporates the science into it 
has given me ideas because reading is, in my school, reading is a big thing to get our kids to read, so it's like I can probably take the opposite and learn from what she's doing with her reading students. Me to be able to use that with the science like she's trying to do, but then with my science classes to get them reading and learning about what they're supposed to be learning. I'm a reading teacher, and I went on this trip with a bunch of marine science teachers, and I think everybody has something to learn, and I know our teachers are getting scuba diving certified, and here we've got a whole, um, like I told the kids, a Texas Caribbean right out in the Gulf of Mexico, right in our backyard, that we can go and study and enjoy. So I think it's something there for everybody. Now I'm much more educated on what I see underwater and what it is um, I can do as a teacher to help kids understand what we can do to um, preserve our environment. You know, one of the very important elements of the uh, meeting, the Gulf of Mexico Foundation uh, mission is public awareness and education, and that's what we've been doing out here for the last several days, helping educators throughout the country, Connecticut, Florida, even Mexico, uh, learn more about the Gulf of Mexico and take it back to their students. And we thank our sponsors, ConocoPhillips, GE Drilling, and Offshore Technology Conference uh, uh, Executive Committee for allowing us to uh, bring these folks out here and spread the word about the Gulf. I think that uh, it's amazing to me the, the balance that uh, has been struck to this point between industry and uh, uh, the education part of that and then the uh, the, the environment uh, and I think uh, more should be done to, to, to help that balance because uh, they both are needed in everything that we do. I've been on the Gulf of Mexico with NOAA before and it kind of an uh, it looks like a city at night sometimes um, with all the platforms but they always just seem like real little uh, real, real small things and then when you get underneath you realize wow these are huge and um, look at all the life underneath of them and just a great uh, it was a great dive. Uh, new experience. I'm amazed uh, and, and very happy that um, the, this, this, the commercial sponsors have been able to, to do this for as many years as they have. This is one of the, uh, the best experiences that I've ever been a part of as a teacher and being able to have that uh, backed up by the, uh, the funding and the, the commercial from ConocoPhillips uh, is pretty amazing. It's important that those companies feel the oceans are that you know, they're, they're using the resources just as much as everyone else and they're still devoting back to teach, like teachers and everyone else of just showing that they feel it's important and, you know, letting us experience how important everything is. The Dewey program is invaluable to students that, again, as we know, teachers don't make a whole lot of money and without the sponsorship from people like yourselves, industry, uh, this program wouldn't be possible. And so it's very important to be able to con contribute to those that would may only ever see this type of environment in a textbook or on television. And with this type of funding, they get to see it firsthand and bring back actual footage, photos, experiences back to the students that otherwise wouldn't be possible. Good morning. Just as the sun is rising behind me, it's also rising on a new phase for the Gulf of Mexico Foundation. We have some very exciting new programs coming along. Membership, individual membership programs. Uh, we have some new training opportunities, learning opportunities, programs that you can get involved in, whether you're a, a student, a teacher, uh, a private citizen. Uh, we're very committed to our mission of sustaining a robust economy and sustaining a very healthy, productive environment for the Gulf of Mexico. These are the cornerstones of the quality of life that we all desire. We can't do it without you. We have got to have your support. We have got to have you involved. So watch our website, continue to watch it. Uh, give us a call, just stay involved with what we're doing. Get on board and let's sail around the Gulf and keep it healthy and happy for our grandchildren's grandchildren. grandchildren.